Buckle up, space enthusiasts. It's time to witness history in the making as SpaceX, the private space exploration company founded by Elon Musk, prepares to launch its first all-civilian crew into orbit. These groundbreaking missions represent a major milestone in the history of space exploration and promise to usher in a new era of commercial space travel. So are you ready to be a part of these historic moments? Don't miss out on the action. Watch the video now and witness the dawn of a new age in space exploration. What is SpaceX? Space Exploration Technologies Corp. SpaceX is an American spacecraft manufacturer, launcher, and satellite communications corporation headquartered in Hawthorne, California. It was founded in 2002 by Elon Musk with the stated goal of reducing space transportation costs to enable the colonization of Mars. The company manufactures the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Starship launch vehicles, several rocket engines, Cargo Dragon and Crew Dragon spacecraft, and Starlink communications satellites. SpaceX is developing a satellite internet constellation named Starlink to provide commercial internet service. In January 2020, the Starlink constellation became the largest satellite constellation ever launched, and as of December 2022 comprises over 3,000 300 small satellites in orbit. Achievements SpaceX has made several achievements in space exploration. These include making the first privately developed liquid propellant rocket that reached orbit, the first private company to launch orbit and recover a spacecraft, the first private company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station, the first to achieve vertical propulsive landing of an orbital rocket booster, the first to reuse such a booster, and the first private company to send astronauts to orbit and the International Space Station. In addition, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets have been flown and landed over 100 times. Historic Moments of Space Exploration SpaceX developed its first orbital launch vehicle, the Falcon 1, with internal funding. The Falcon 1 was an expendable two-stage-to-orbit, small-lift launch vehicle. The total development cost of Falcon 1 was approximately 90 million U.S. dollars to 100 million U.S. dollars. The Falcon name was adopted from the DARPA Falcon Project, part of the Prompt Global Strike Program of the U.S. military. In 2005, SpaceX announced plans to pursue a human-rated commercial space program through the end of the decade, a program that would later become the Dragon spacecraft. In 2006, the company was selected by NASA and awarded $396 million to provide crew and cargo resupply demonstration contracts to the ISS under the TOTS program. 2010-2012, Falcon 9, Dragon, and NASA contracts. SpaceX originally intended to follow its light Falcon 1 launch vehicle with an intermediate capacity vehicle, the Falcon 5. The company instead decided in 2005 to proceed with the development of the Falcon 9, a reusable heavier lift vehicle. Development of the Falcon 9 was accelerated by NASA, which committed to purchasing several commercial flights if specific capabilities were demonstrated. This started with seed money from the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services, TOTS, program in 2006. The overall contract award was US$278 million US dollars to provide development funding for the Dragon spacecraft, Falcon 9, and demonstration launches of Falcon 9 with Dragon. As part of this contract, the Falcon 9 launched for the first time in June 2010 with the Dragon spacecraft qualification unit, using a mock-up of the Dragon spacecraft. The first operational Dragon spacecraft was launched in December 2010 aboard TOT's Demo Flight 1, the Falcon 9's second flight, and safely returned to Earth after two orbits, completing all its mission objectives. By December 2010, the SpaceX production. SpaceX Active Reusability Test Program began in late 2012 with testing low-altitude, low-speed aspects of the landing technology. The Falcon 9 prototypes performed Vertical Takeoffs and Landings VTOL. High-velocity, high-altitude tests of the booster atmospheric return technology began in late 2013. 2013 to 2015 SpaceX launched its commercial first commercial mission for a private customer in 2013. In 2014, SpaceX won nine contracts out of the 20 that were openly competed worldwide. That year, Ariana Space requested that European governments provide additional subsidies to face the competition from SpaceX. Beginning in 2014, SpaceX's capabilities and pricing also began to affect the market for the launch of U.S. military payloads, which for nearly a decade had been dominated by the large U.S. launch provider United Launch Alliance, ULA. 
The monopoly had allowed launch costs by the U.S. provider to rise to over $400 million U.S. dollars over the years. In September 2014, NASA awarded SpaceX the Commercial Crew Transportation Capability, CTTAP, contract to finalize the development of the crew transportation system. The contract included several technical and certification milestones, an uncrewed flight test, a crewed flight test, and six operational missions after certification. 2015 to 2017, Reusability Milestones SpaceX first achieved a successful landing and recovery of the first stage in December 2015 with Falcon 9 Flight 20. In April 2016, the company achieved its first successful landing on an autonomous spaceport drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. By October 2016, following the successful landings, SpaceX indicated they were offering their customers a 10% price discount if they choose to fly their payload on a reused Falcon 9 first stage. Later that year, in March 2017, SpaceX launched a return Falcon 9 for the SES-10 satellite. This was the first time a relaunch of a payload-carrying orbital rocket went back to space. The first stage was recovered again, also making it the first landing of a reused orbital-class rocket. 2017-2018 Leading Global Commercial Launch Provider In July 2017, the company raised $350 million U.S. million, which raised its valuation to $21 billion U.S. billion. In 2017, SpaceX achieved a 45% global market share for awarded commercial launch contracts. By March 2018, SpaceX had more than 100 launches on its manifest, representing about $12 billion U.S. billion in contract revenue. The contracts included both commercial and government, NASA-slash-DOD, customers. This made SpaceX the leading global commercial launch provider measured by manifested launches. 2019-present, Starship, Starlink, and first crewed launches. In January 2019, SpaceX announced it would lay off 10% of its workforce to help finance the Starship and Starlink projects. Construction of initial prototypes and tests for Starship started in early 2019 in Florida and Texas. All Starship construction and testing moved to the new SpaceX South Texas launch site later that year. In May 2019, SpaceX also launched the first large batch of 60 Starlink satellites, beginning the deployment of what would become the world's largest commercial satellite constellation the following year. The company raised a total of $1.33 billion US dollars of capital across three funding rounds in 2019. By May 2019, the valuation of SpaceX had risen to $33.3 billion US dollars and reached $36 billion US dollars by March 2020. A major milestone was achieved in May 2020 when SpaceX successfully launched two NASA astronauts, Doug Curley and Bob Behnken, into orbit on a Crew Dragon spacecraft during Crew Dragon Demo 2, making SpaceX the first private company to send astronauts to the International Space Station and marking the first crewed orbital launch from American soil in nine years. The mission launched from Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39A, LC-39A, of the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On 19 August 2020, after a $1.9 billion U.S. dollars funding round, one of the largest single fundraising pushes by any privately held company, SpaceX's valuation increased to $46 billion U.S. dollars. In February 2021, SpaceX raised an additional $1.61 billion US dollars in an equity round from 99 investors at a per share value of approximately $420, raising the company valuation to approximately $74 billion US dollars. By 2021, SpaceX had raised a total of more than $6 billion US dollars in equity financing. Most of the capital raised since 2019 has been used to support the operational fielding of the Starlink satellite constellation and the development and manufacture of the Starship launch vehicle. By October 2021, the valuation of SpaceX had risen to $100.3 billion. US dollars. By 2021, SpaceX had entered into agreements with Google Cloud Platform and Microsoft Azure to provide on-ground computer and networking services for Starlink. A new round of financing in 2022 values SpaceX at $127 billion. US dollars. In July 2021, SpaceX unveiled another drone ship named a Shortfall of Gravitas, landing a booster from CRS-23 on it for the first time on 29 August 2021. Within the first 130 days of 2022, SpaceX had 18 rocket launches and two astronauts splashed out.